Okay, Jason, uh, welcome to the Bulls uh, What are what are Bulls' uh, primary aspirations for this season? Um, I suppose do better or just as good as we did last year. Um, maybe only a couple of points off uh, fifth place last year. Keith has built a good squad this year that I think we can we can get that spot. Um, and then obviously try to pick up a, a couple of trophies along the way or, or do our best in the cup. So that's our main, main objective this year is to obviously stabilise ourselves and then obviously finish as high as possible. Obviously, 19 goals off the all-time League of Ireland goal-scoring record. Uh, how how uh, how likely do you think your chances are of, of getting there this season or the next? Um, it's, it's, it's still a chance. I'm still there. I'm still playing. Um, and once you're playing, there's always a chance. Um, I know it's, it's, it's only 19, and it seems not so far away. But look, I know I'm not going to be playing every game this year. So when I do get a chance, it's up to me to take it and not let it play in my mind, so to speak. Because last year, I think. Going to play the games, they're probably playing in my mind a bit. Um, but then again, I, like I probably didn't play as much as I probably would have liked it. But look, that's a great testament to, to Dini, who done really well for us last year, and well, he deserved it. He, he went in, took his chances, and he, he's done really well for us last year. So it's up to me you now if I do get a chance to go on and, and score a couple more goals for myself. Do you think focusing on goal scoring records and that is detrimental to us as strikers? Yeah. Is it bad for the mindset? Well, you can either take it, or you can only be used as a positive and a negative. You know, you can either play in the mind, or you can just go out and just play a natural game, which. I have done down the years, but now that you, it, it, there's a bit of a, a now carrot dang, dangling in front of you, um, it plays your mind a little bit, you know, because you're, you're so close and you're like probably a bit more eager on the pitch. Whereas last year, or probably down the years, I've just gone and just playing the natural game. But as I said, last year, probably I should have scored a bit more than, than I did, but look, I didn't. So I, all I can do now is focus on this year and, and uh, give me all again. How do you think the league has, has changed since your it's acknowledged glory days back when you were at Shelburne? Um, how do you think it's changed, and do you think it's coming back to that standard slowly but surely? Um, I think it has, yeah, because like you've seen good managers coming in. Um, obviously, the players have, have chopped and changed every year, so probably that get a bit used to because like there's no two or three year contracts these these days, and um, whereas there was, and there's no really stability, you know. But um, no, I think it's it's going back to the to the days that we were. Um, I still think it has a long way to go. But getting there gradually, and, and you can see that the quality of, I suppose, of the players that the managers are putting together, and um, you can see that there's four or five good quality teams in this year. So I think it's it's getting there. Uh, how what how has bowls, how has life at bowls changed since your first bowl? Yeah, it's actually changed a lot because we were full, full time when I came back in 2008, I think it was. So um, it, it's changed a hell of a lot actually because we were there for three or four years and obviously then the financial industry, but look, that was the same with every club. Um, you had to take cuts. and But look, it's, in terms of uh, nothing really has changed around the club, and it's still a fantastic club. Um, it's still a great club to play for, and there's some fantastic people behind the scenes as well, striving to put the club in the right direction. and slowly but surely it's getting there and I think in the next couple of years that we, we, will get, we will get back up to the top. I hate to bring this up but Roddy Collins has made a name for himself in recent months talking about the League of Ireland and how no players in the League of Ireland would even make it into League 2 or, or so forth. I mean having played in England I mean what, what do you make of those comments? Roddy's entitled to his own opinion you know I'm sure there's hundreds of players in the state that would, would have a different opinion with um, I personally think he's wrong but that's just my opinion. I think there's quality players out there that go play in League, league Two or League One. Um, but that's just my take on it. Roddy's entitled his opinion and he can be a bit controversial at times, but like, that's, that's, that's what he's done so well for himself, you know. So but um, yeah, no, the, the quality the quality of players there in this league uh, it has gone has gone back, you know. I know they have some players, most of the players have come back from England and they haven't got the the shots that they probably they deserve. But look they're coming out they had a chance and then they probably even go back over so I, I think he's wrong but that's just my opinion Did you happen upon Keith Fahey's comments about how the facilities hadn't come on and how he was disappointed at that? Yeah well that's down to part time you know um, whereas if you're full time you would have them facilities every day I don't know what what, what is the facilities now when he went to Rovers but <coughs> it's just that the clubs haven't got the money to, to, to pay for facilities nowadays you know so I think that's that, that'd be probably one of the disappointing things but Look, when, when, when they get the house in order and, and, and when things come back to where they once were, I'm sure the training facilities will come back as well. What sort of things have been missing compared to maybe five years ago? Or, um, 
what, what things were in place five years ago that are maybe there now? Well, you obviously had you had your, in the day that we train the morning times, you know, so you're full time, and then you had like you can use the gym after, then like obviously then you, you can get your rest in then. But like whereas now I think most most of the lads walk and then they're, they're rushing to train, and then so you're not really recovering properly because you're, you're walking all day and then you have to go train and stuff like that. So I think that's probably one of the major changes, you know. Would you uh, would, <laughs> would you like to be playing LA Galaxy at some point coming up against? Robert? No, look, it, like I've been playing a bit. Of, uh, five or so of them over, over the Christmas and that, like so, that was enjoyable. But um, no, no, I was just looking, concentrating on, on my own pre-season um, and just get myself up to a good standard of fitness. Whereas, well, a standard of fitness that like a 37 year old can get himself up to. But no, look, I'm, I'm doing well. I've already three days into pre-season, so um, everything's going well. So if I can stay in duty for pre-season, that's a that's a major win for me. You know. How many more seasons do you think? Um, well, I, I keep on saying like I take each season as it come, you know. Um, all depends how, suppose how many goals I score this year, and if, if I do get close to the record, if I don't, well, this may be last, but we can never can never tell. How was how was the five aside with Robbie? How, how did you fare up and how did he fare up? Yeah, that no, was good. Of course, it's just like using it for ticking over, you know. It's like you're not really doing that. You're probably laying around the house, and I might as well just go out and get a bit of a sweat up, you know. Um, it was enjoyable. We went there with him and a few of mates and, and a couple of cousins and that. So. It was good. Um, keep the hair right up. And you could have sold tickets to that. Yeah, you probably could have, but we, we kept it discreet, you know. So, not for him more than, more than me, but that no, was good. It was enjoyable.